Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can add badges to your filament tables. So for today's video, I have a very simple resource for my users table. And I'm using the one from my Laravel blog course if you guys are interested. But basically, what I would like to do guys is add a badge for this role column. Generally, badges are useful if you have a state, maybe you have a stat status, and you would like to have different colored badges for each of those possible values, right? So maybe you have an order and you have a state of completed, processing, canceled, or maybe rejected, whatever possible values, and then you will have different colored badges, maybe red, green, blue, for all of those values. So in this case, I have this role column, and I would like to have a badge for every single possible value. So the possible values are admin, editor, and user. And right now we are using a normal text column. It kind of looks ugly and it's also hard to distinguish between them. So let's go ahead and convert these into a batch. Okay, so I have the code for my resource on the right, guys. And it's a regular text column for the role. So I'm not going to show you guys the rest of the code. Just know that under our table function in our resource, I have all my columns defined and then what really matters for us is this role over here and I'm using a text column. So for a badge, you need to use a text column. So in order to convert the regular text into a badge, you need to go ahead and call a method of badge on it, just like so. It's very easy to do. And if we go back and we do a reload, we can see that this regular text got converted into a badge. Now, by default, all of them are going to have the exact same colors. So the next step for us is to let filament know what color to use for each of the possible values. And that is actually relatively easy to do. All we have to do is call or chain call a second method of color. And this color method accepts a couple of different possible types of values. What we really care about is a closure. So we need to go ahead and pass it a closure. You can either pass it in an arrow function or maybe an anonymous function. In this case, I'll just do a regular anonymous function since I think everyone is familiar with it, just like this. And then as an argument, it accepts an argument of type script, a uh, string, and the variable name or the argument name is state. This name is actually very important, guys, so make sure you actually name it state. And then the return type is basically going to be, it's going to expect a string return from you, right? Now these type hints are optional, so you don't necessarily need to type hint them, but I'll just add them here so you guys know from the video. So this state, this state is actually the value of your rule column, right? So you can use this state to actually pick which color to use. Okay, so let's just test it out. In this case, I'll just go ahead and return info. So the way the colors work, guys, is kind of similar if you guys have used Bootstrap. Uh, it has info, it has a warning, it has danger, success. It kind of uses the same kind of naming scheme that initially Bootstrap, I believe, introduced. And I'll show you guys all the kind of most commonly used colors here so you guys know which one to use. But basically, right now, let's just hard code info and see what happens. So if I go back and I do reload, as you can see, guys, all of these got converted into blue color. So info is basically blue, right, in this case. Okay, so now that we have this, instead of actually hard coding the color, let's go ahead and use this state value to actually have different colors for each values, right? So the possible values are admin, editor, and user. So we need three different colors. Now you can do this in a couple of different ways. One way is you can just have a couple of if statements and say, let's say, if state is equal to admin, go ahead and return, let's say, danger. So danger is red. So that's one way of doing it. And then as the default, let's say, uh, do use gray. So that's one way of doing it. You can just have a couple of if statements. And as you can see, this one got red, the rest are using gray. Or you can use a switch statement. In this case, I will go ahead and use a match statement. So a match statement is kind of same as the switch statement. It just has a shorter syntax. So we can go ahead and do return match, pass it in state. And then inside here, we can go ahead and define all the possible cases, right? So for the first one, it is admin. Okay, the value admin. So if the value is admin, so that's going to be the key here. And then the second part is going to be the value we are going to use for the color, right? So as I said, guys, we have danger. So danger is red. Next up, let's go ahead and add editor options. So I'll do editor. And for editor, I'm going to go ahead and use info. So info is blue. 
And then last but not least, I'll, at the end of the video, I will show you guys all the possible color uh, options. And then for the user, I will go ahead and let's say use uh, success, which is going to be green, okay? And last but not least, we also need to add the semicolon for this return statement. So I will go ahead and save this. I think I forgot my commas over here. Yeah, let's make sure we add the commas between the cases. So let's save this. Let's go back. I'll do a quick reload. And as you guys can see, we have now very beautiful looking badges. We have a red for admin, a blue for editor, and then green, green for user. So inside your closure, we can write any logic you need to determine what color to use. All right, guys, so that's how you do it. Now, if you want to know what possible color values there are available, you need to go ahead and actually find that inside the filament documentation. Okay, so these the main ones are the ones that I just showed you. But if you want to know all of them, just go ahead and open up the filament website, go under core concepts, make sure you're on version three. And under core concepts at the left menu, there is a section for color. So if you just open this up, it's taking a while for me to load. Yep. If you scroll down, you can see all the possible color values. So I, we already use danger, info, and success. There is also primary and then uh, warning as well, I believe, and then gray, right? So you can use all these seven possible color options for your uh, states or your badges. And that's it, guys, for today's episode. So very easy to use. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below, guys. And I see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.